Hi, my name is Jonathan Perkins, Southern Illinois PFR Location Lead and PFR Agronomist with Bex Hybrids. Uh, we're out here today with Dave and Carl Frederick. They're a PFR partner with us, and we're out here looking at vertical tillage today. So, uh, Dave, you want to give us a little bit of detail on this tillage tool? We've got a Sunflower 6630 behind us, and Dave, you just want to elaborate a little bit on what we're doing out here today? Yeah, sure, Jonathan. Uh, we got this uh, vertical tillage tool uh, brought out to us uh, on demonstration from uh, McAllister Machineries mm -hmm. here in Lafayette, Indiana. And uh, Dad and I have been looking at a way to size residue. Um, we have a lot of issue in, in the fall specifically with uh, corn stalks that build up. You know, they get uh, some moisture build up in them and they'll build up underneath the uh, platform of our, our, our bean head. So mm -hmm. we no-till our soybeans currently okay. uh, with a Kinsey planter, uh, with uh, row cleaners and no-till coulters. Uh, we've gotten along pretty well with that system, but you know, staying in between the rows, we have a lot of exposed stock still, and that's where we're running into the issue. So okay. we were looking at a solution maybe as a vertical till to help knock those stocks down, and then potentially to use in uh, bean stubble uh, ahead of our corn planter. So uh, those are the things that we're uh, trying to evaluate with this tool. You know, in general with vertical tillage, what we're trying to do is go out there, chop and size residue, you know, try to help that seed bed in the spring like you're talking about. So uh, there's some other options, you know, like uh, chopping heads, things like that, that we can explore. Um, you know, you want to give just a little bit of detail about what this tool might do differently than those, in your opinion? Uh, yeah, what we've noticed over uh, some of the acres that we've run thus far, uh, with the angled gangs and the aggressive uh, waffle blades, uh, it really does a good job of breaking up the stalks and uh, uh, incorporating it into the dirt uh, where some other vertical tillage tools that we've saw mm -hmm. um, that have a more of a straight gang uh, just kind of create a, an, an even mat and just kind of size the residue and leave it flat. This one actually uh, works kind of like a disc as far as uh, doing more mixing action, okay. um, which in the bean stubble does a, a really nice job in the fall as far as uh, uh, incorporating the, the, the trash into the dirt. Uh, you know, sometimes with vertical tillage tools, we don't always alleviate compaction, you know, and things like that. So definitely helping out in sizing the residue there. Sounds like a great job for this tool. Um, do you think that, you know, with PFR and that some of the data that we've seen at our sites, is that gonna help you make decisions going forward with some of our multi-year data that we've seen here in Indiana where you guys are located? And, um, you know, maybe at some of the other sites and what we've seen there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dad and I use the PFR book uh, uh, religiously to look at the multi-year data. Um, you know, we talk to neighbors, but we also lean on the, the, the guys at uh, Beck's Practical Farm Research to tell us what they're seeing on the, the studies that they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're gonna be looking at the, the multi-year data and we're gonna be talking to, to uh, some of the PFR directors like yourself and the, the other team members mm -hmm. uh, to try and get a good idea um, if this tool is gonna be the right one and what kind of program's really gonna fit us long-term. So, you know, Dave, the true tell is gonna be next spring when you guys come out here and evaluate the job that this tool has done for you, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, for Dad and I, that's where the, the proof's going to be at is uh, this spring, how well we can come in there with a Kinsey planter uh, with no-till coulters and trash whippers uh, to get that residue out of the way and make sure that we've got a nice level surface and we can still uh, do a good job there. Um, uh, and then uh, in the fall, when we come back and we've got our bean platform, we're really looking for something that gives us a flatter surface, knocking those corn stalks down so that we don't get as much of that residue coming up into the bean head and also building up underneath the bottom. So, you know, we're going to be looking closely at some of your studies you've done with chopping heads also mm -hmm. uh, to help us uh, evaluate the decision. But, uh, you know, honestly, we've been real happy with how this thing has performed and uh, uh, we just need to have uh, a full year season to help make our decision. Absolutely. Well, sounds great, Dave. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing results from their farm next year and looking forward to seeing more from PFR coming forward. So this has been Jonathan Perkins reporting uh, with our PFR report from the field today in central Indiana.